Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to the weekend, Saturday, 1137 a.m. California time here, November 2nd, 2024 is the date. Uh, latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D Globe shows some movement there in the, the uh, Southern California area of the 1.6. We'll get to that activity here in just a little bit. Want to cover the uh, ongoing earthquake swarm out here across the Alohi Seamount area just off the big island of Hawaii where we're uh, noticing an increasing amount of earthquake activity out here across this uh, submarine volcano. Now there's uh, obviously an active area out there. Let me show you guys the... Uh, by the way, this is an unmonitored volcano or unassigned, I should say, alert level unassigned. Uh, wouldn't doubt it though if they start putting this on the list in terms of watching it a little bit more. Uh, but here's a swarm of activity around that uh, submarine volcano. Has not breached the um, the um, ocean layer, the top ocean floor there, or it's at the bottom of the ocean floor is what I'm trying to state there. Uh, it's going to be a little while before it breaches the surface there of the water. Uh, got about, uh, let's see what we got for seismic activity, about 25 earthquakes here of various magnitudes, quite a few twos, there's a 3.8 early this morning, and uh, a couple other threes in there as well from last night. Uh, at the time, there was only about six earthquakes last night when this swarm was kicking up, and it looks like things are starting to amplify here uh, across the area. Now, the seamount, the seamount here looks like it rises to about 3,189 feet below sea level. Uh, there was an intense earthquake swarm back in 1996 with a potential eruption there. Um, even though on this map it shows uh, an eruption that the uh, submarine volcano has yet to be observed. Uh, if you look on a different website, it states here that uh, there was an evidence of an eruption back in 1996 here uh, at that area during the uh, intense earthquake swarm. So take your pick. Either there was or there wasn't. Um, either way... Uh, it looks like, uh, you know, this is just an ongoing process here over the hot spot. It's building its new islands out here. It's going to take a little while, obviously. Uh, it looks like uh, it'd be about 200,000 years to uh, reach the ocean surface. Looks like at about 16 feet per thousand years. So we got a long ways to go before we can buy some property out there in the uh, the new island of Hawaii. A long ways away for there, uh, from that uh, from this time period. So just kind of watching it, uh, no updates. I uh, just checked the uh, volcano updates. This was put out from uh, earlier in October, uh, October 3rd. I wouldn't doubt it though if they start maybe doing a little informational statement here soon, more than likely Monday because it is a weekend unless something drastic happens out there right now or between now and, and uh, Monday. But uh, just a little bit of earthquake activity there in uh, Back in October and September as well, there was a couple other uh, smaller quake swarms out there. Nothing like the 1996 activity, though. That was uh, more than 4,000 earthquakes, and 300 events were larger than M3. Uh, 95 events in the range of M4 to 4.9. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty crazy. It looks like the most recent swarm occurred back in 2020 with 18 events in the M3 to 2. Uh, to 3.9 range. There are no working monitoring instruments there in that area. So it's hard to keep track of, uh, you know, the seismic activity out there. We kind of pretty much have to go off of um, seismograph stations out there across the uh, eastern area, the big island of Hawaii. Let me bring that up and see if we can find a, a seismograph station that might be working out here, such as this one. Now, if you look here at the Lohi Seamount, uh, right here, but there's no instruments nearby, so it's hard to uh, hard to see if we're getting some major inflation out there or what. But let's see what these seismograph stations look like. Past 12 hour, of course, it's going to do that, right? It's a little glitch here on this uh, Google Chrome browser, but uh, as you can see, here's some of the earthquake activity from last night. Those are going to be the three pointers that are showing up. All these other quakes under three are probably too far away from the seismograph stations there to be picked up but uh they're definitely getting some earthquake activity out there across that area of hawaii and uh just something to watch here 
would say that start of a swarm. The latest one, 2.5 coming in right now to that same area. And the general trend has been focused out here. If you look at the last 30 days, it's all kind of trending out further uh, in this general direction. A lot out here across the eastern, just off the uh, east coast here of the Big Island, getting in on some uh, some elevated earthquake activity. A couple months back here, we had a magma intrusion from the summit area prior to the uh, the south, where was it? It was just southwest here of the Kilauea volcano where we had that little eruption. And then most recently, the Middle East Rift Zone here, the, the uh, similar type eruption here on this area. But prior to those two events earlier this year, we've seen a, a magma intrusion event from the summit off in this general area as what we're seeing right now in terms of the seismic activity. So uh, obviously there's some changes going on here across the uh, plumbing system uh, of this hot spot area over the Pacific plate. And uh, just, you know, we're, we're witnessing the dynamics of how Earth is going to uh, produce some new islands out here. Obviously, in due time, none of us will be alive to witness it, but we're experiencing the the processes involved, the ingredients of it. But uh, yeah, uh, there's a former island Hawaii, or former chain of Hawaii islands there. They build up, they erode away throughout time, and we're at our current geological time here in terms of the current Hawaii chain here, these uh, islands where a lot of people live on. Beautiful area. I've, I've actually never been out there to Hawaii one of these days right so we'll continue to watch that elevated earthquake swarming going on there and really nothing of any notice there from the usgs and into what's going on here but i guess we'll just see what uh what they put out more than likely it's going to be monday kilauea that was put out uh, just today, actually. It looks like UTC time of today. No changes there across that volcano for now. That's going to be the Kilauea volcano up here. All right, let's see what else we got here for seismic activity overnight. Anything major going on here for the uh, for the weekend? Largest magnitude here looks in the last 24 hours is going to be from yesterday, that 5.3 here. Uh, just after midnight, we had a 5.2 over here across the Java Trench. That's the latest and largest earthquake so far uh, today after midnight. So really not a whole lot of significant movement going on there across the globe in terms of large-scale activity. Uh, Southern California, let's see what we got here for 2.5 and above. Well, Borrego Springs down here along the San Jacinto Fault Zone. Showing a little bit of movement here today. Nothing uh, major, but it is uh, above that threshold of 2.5. Los Angeles area, a couple smaller earthquakes out there in the last 24 hours. Really nothing big going on there. Northern California, pretty quiet as well. Bay Area, awfully quiet. What's going on there? Nothing. Uh, movement outside of Las Vegas, a little bit there through Nevada. And the Long Valley Super Volcano here. A couple earthquakes from yesterday and today, but just outside of the Caldera region. Nothing... Uh, Nothing big going on there for now. We 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 see uh, occasional earthquake swarms there across that area of the super volcano, but it's been a little while. I'd say it's been probably uh, I don't know. It's got had to have been over a year since we've had our last decent earthquake swarming out there. Uh, Texas area oil fields out here getting hit. This is just nothing new. Uh, occasionally these 4.0 earthquakes will pop up. Yesterday had a 4.2 out here in this area, outside of Pecos, Texas, and the oil fields out here. Uh, but again, they they pop up, you know. These uh, four pointers do. Last 30 days of uh, 2.5 and above, as you can see, quite a few twos and threes. That four pointer yesterday is the largest in the little sequence there, but uh, they can get bigger than that. All depends on how much stress and strain is built up out here across the uh, the intercontinental uh, plate here, away from the plate boundary. These areas that uh, you know kind of poke holes in the crust, so to speak, to uh, produce natural gas and oil and all that good stuff. 
Uh, Oklahoma, pretty quiet. New Madrid seismic zone and the eastern portion of the country, all quiet for now. Let's see what else we got here on the earthquake 3D globe. Uh, got a little swarm going on there across the Australia area. Quite a few twos and some threes out there. Nothing showing up here on the USGS map because that is the international uh, activity, and that will show up on the Earthquake 3D globe through the EMSC data reporting. But uh, not a whole lot of major movement uh, out here across New Zealand for now. Looks like some threes out there in the last 24 hours or so. Little trail of events up here across the Aleutian Trench, but uh, yeah, it looks like a, a typical day here. Nothing major going on in the Atlantic for now. Uh, looks like we had a five-pointer from yesterday out here into the Chile region. Just after midnight, actually. 12.42 a.m. my time here. Another earthquake uh, following that event some hours later, further up north along the uh, Peru-Chile Trench. But overall, this area is always active. So we'll just kind of see how today goes. Really nothing major across the rest of the globe here. A lot of older movement from yesterday. Minimal movement through the uh, Mediterranean for now. Uh, space weather activity out here. Still seeing some proton events out there. Goodness, just lingering. Similar to my uh, my cough. It's just been lingering like this uh, proton event. Nothing major going on there for space weather activity for now. Elevated flare threat remains at 35% chance there. 75% um, chance for M flare, X flare at 35, C flare around 99% chance. No major roars in the forecast for now. Uh, quite a few sunspots that are currently facing the Earth. And the one that uh, I've been watching here, 3878, is, uh, well, it's still holding steady a little bit. Looks like a little bit of decay going on across the area though today so i don't know if this is starting to fizzle out or if we're going to just see a um, you know a little bit of a slowdown then ramping back up here in terms of complexity around that sunspot core but uh, that's about the only one that i see maybe down here across this area as well there's some uh, intermixing of the colors indicating complexity this has a separated core really not too concerned with this one either and back around the eastern limb of the sun, let's see what we got here on the far side. Uh, this was put out yesterday, so a little, little behind, but this is the earth-facing side, eastern limb over here. As you can see, there's not a whole lot. One little sunspot here, probably center disk on the far side. But uh, yeah, it uh, looks pretty quiet. Maybe a little one up here as well, but those are all... Fairly uh, small in coverage area. Could be entering into a little period of uh, quietness after uh, this activity that's on the Earth-facing side of the sun goes away. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Numerical models. Got any hurricanes heading out here to the uh, Gulf of Mexico? Let's take a look here. See what the GFS model is showing. Uh, still got to watch towards... Uh, Oh, the end of next week here, it looks like we'll get a better idea idea of what's going on here in terms of tropical development here off the coast of Florida. It's It's been hinting at something. This is just under a week away. This is for next week, Thursday. So it's a little ways out, but not that far of a forecast model. So this could start to be uh, picking up on something of interest here in terms of the hurricane activity. Uh, shows what looks like uh, it entering into the Gulf and interacting there with the low pressure system to create uh, a super big rainmaker out there. And then maybe another uh, tropical system here uh, venturing into that same area. But hard to say. We'll definitely have to watch it, but models are picking up on something. Uh, West Coast, got a little bit of rain last night. I think I picked up two tenths of an inch of rain here just outside of Chico. Here in Northern California, much more rain up north, like always. A little bit of a dry spell here for us uh, this coming week. And then it looks like maybe the storm door will open back up here for the West Coast as we head into next, next week. Hopefully. We need some uh, decent precipitation out here. 
It's our rainy month. It's November technically is a, a decent month for us in terms of rainfall out here across Northern California. So I hope it starts raining a lot. Two tenths of an inch of rain is nothing, but uh, we'll take it, I guess. Another earthquake falling at 2.5. Let's see here. Not for sure what this is up around Seattle. I, I don't know if that's a legit... I mean, it's a legit seismograph station, but I don't know if that's uh, picking up on seismic activity or just some type of background noise. I normally don't have a Seattle station on here, but I just wanted to see here if... Uh, we can keep an eye up north here into Pacific Northwest in terms of seismic activity, but that looks like it may be just some type of environmental noise. It's been doing it for a little while. And if that was a lot of earthquake activity, we'd be having folks, you know, chiming in left and right, what's going on in Seattle? But I think that may just be uh, a station I have to pull because it doesn't look like it's uh, all that accurate couple spikes there on the chili station aside from that uh, we'll just kind of watch things here today and see how it plays out in the earthquake department definitely going on out there across the uh, seamount here those are relatively deep as well about six miles underneath this area so we'll continue to watch it and report back on anything that changes out here folks have yourself a good day. I'm out of here. Got to take some more vitamin C and I don't know. Just waiting for this thing to be over with. Have a good day. We'll catch you guys a little bit later out here. Have a good one.